This is the award-winning Ernest Angley Hour, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. As you watch today's program, reach out in faith and allow the Lord to minister to your personal needs. You can have a miracle. And here is God's man for this hour, Reverend Ernest Angley. Greetings in the name of the Lord and welcome to the Ernest Angley Hour. I'm the Reverend Chris Mockamer. I'm an associate pastor at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral, and I will be your guest host for a special program today that will surely bless your soul. We have for you good gospel music and singing, powerful message by the Reverend Ernest Angley, and Kathy Millar will be on set to share with you powerful testimonies of what God is doing through this Jesus ministry all over the world. But first, it's the Cathedral Boys, and they have a great number for you. Get that fire. Listen. There's fire on that chariot, there's fire on those wheels, there's fire going to heaven, Elijah, get that fire, 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 fire of the Holy Ghost, get that fire, 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 receive him today, get that fire, 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 yield to the Holy Ghost.
Jesus has been there all of the time. The ones ever loved you like Jesus loves you. The ones ever cared for you like Jesus. No one's ever What does Jesus commit himself to? What does Jesus commit himself to? Commit means to pledge or bid to, to devote to, to put in trust. Jesus commits himself to those who commit to him. Many say they believe in Jesus. Some really do believe in him. But just because they believe in him does not mean they have committed their lives to him. It is good to believe in Jesus. It is needful to believe in Jesus. But believing alone does not commit him to you. The devils believe and tremble but Jesus does not commit himself to them. James chapter 2, verse 19. Thou believest there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. There it is. Everything I tell you, I back up with the Holy Scriptures. Jesus commits himself to those who believe unto salvation to those who continue to believe and commit their lives to him. Romans chapter 10, verse 10. For with the heart, man believeth, means woman too, unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Jesus knows men's hearts. He knows who commits their life to him. Some, so many people don't do it. John chapter 3, verse 15, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have, ever, have eternal life. Eternal life. Think about that. Serving him for such a short while to be rewarded with eternal life. Can't be bought can't be bought. But everybody won't commit. 500 saw him after he was resurrected. Not but a, about 120 went to see him go back to heaven. What a shame. How disappointed God the Father must have been and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Jesus had the power to perform miracles. And he has that power. He still has it. And do many mighty works. Many believed in him, seeing the miracles that he did. But even though they believed that he was for real and that he did indeed perform mighty works. Their belief alone did not commit them to Jesus. 
and did not commit Jesus to them. John chapter 2, verse 23 to 25. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed no not that they should testify of him, for he knew who, what was in man. Many today believe in Jesus and his works, but they don't go to believe unto salvation and commit their lives to him. What a shame. Nicodemus, seeing the miracles Jesus did, believed that Jesus was of God but Jesus did not commit himself to Nicodemus just because he believed. No, there had to be a commitment first. There had to be a repentance and a spiritual birth into the family of God. And Jesus wasted no time telling Nicodemus the truth. John chapter three, verses one through three. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. He was a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered said to him, Verily, verily, I send thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. In other words, Nicodemus, no need talking about it if you don't get a born again experience because you're not going to see the kingdom. Granted, miracles bring people to God. The miracle of the lame man brought 5,000 to the Lord. They saw the miracle and believed but they had to repent and to be converted before Jesus committed himself to them. Acts chapter 3, verses 11 through 13, and then verses in this same chapter, 16, 19, and 20. I give you plenty of scripture tonight. And as the lame man, which was healed, held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, you men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look you so earnestly on us as though by our own power and holiness we have made, have made this man to walk? the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers. Think about this. This is really something, isn't it? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son, Jesus. And his name through faith, and in his name, hath made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yea, the faith which by him hath given him his perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And yet the faith, perfect soundness, that's what the Lord's doing through this Jesus World Outreach Ministry. In our great overseas crusades, thousands in attendance, the Lord will move on me, be thou made whole be thou made whole. And so many of them accept it and are made whole of everything. And that's something to think about. The faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of, and that's something, in the presence of you all. You've seen it. Now, what are you going to do with it? 
Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out and he shall send Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you. Many of them which heard the word believed and the number of the men was about 5,000. People come to my services to get healings and miracles because they believe in Jesus and his miracles because they believe they receive from God. But some of them do not go on to commit their lives to him until they do. Jesus is not committed to keep them whole. Afterward, in John 5, verse 14, afterward, Jesus findeth him the blind man who Jesus had healed in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. That's something to think about. And I recall in studying this message to get it ready for you, and I wrote it in, the woman in North Carolina, and she came into the line to get her miracle. She hadn't been able to comb her hair. At least she said two years. And she needed healing. And the Lord was merciful and healed her completely of that awful arthritis. She could do her arms anywhere. You think about two years and not being able to even touch your own hair. Somebody had to comb your hair for you. But God fixed her up good. But I went, I was back there for another crusade and there she was in the line, bound again. I was amazed. She said, it's my fault. I backslid on God. I th always said, if God gave you anything, you, he wouldn't take it away from you. And I backslid on God and he took my miracle. So she decided she was going to come back and get her miracle all over again. And she was going to commit to the Lord her very life. And she did. I knew that woman for a number of years. She served her Lord as heaven tonight. Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And those who receive him, he gives power to become sons and daughters of God. And we're heirs the same as Jesus is. We're treated like real sons and real daughters. For, uh, 1 Timothy one, chapter 1, verse 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that G Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Now he was talking about before he got saved, he was mean. He was the chief of sinners. He did so many of the saints of God put to death, which was terrible, which was awful. John chapter one, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even them that believe on his name. It's not those who merely believe that Jesus is standing at their heart's door wanting to come in. It's not those who are under Holy Ghost conviction. It's not those who open the door and let him in that he commits himself to. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, that means boy, girl, or woman, if any man hear my voice, you have to hear his voice, and you open the door, I will come in to him, sup with him, 
and he with me. But I stand at the door. I won't push it open. You have to open it, he's telling them. And open the door. You got to hear my voice. Open the door. I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. In other words, he'll dine with you daily. He'll stay with you. John chapter 6, verse 37. And him that cometh to me, commits to me, I will in no wise cast out. But you have to be committed. You people in television land, it's watching me. Have you committed your life to God? You in radio land, have you committed your life unto God? And you in this great congregation tonight, have you committed your life to God? Jesus does not commit himself to those who walk after the flesh. He came and paid a tremendous price to condemn sin in the flesh so we could live after the Spirit. Romans chapter 8, verses 1 through 4. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Now, they are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. And many people, many churches, many preachers preach that nobody lives free from sin. Well, if you don't, the Lord doesn't commit you to him. You'll never get through one of the gates of glory. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. We're free from sin and the death of sin. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sent in his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Sent in his own son and the Lord told me that's the only time he ever used all his love. He had none left. And that's the reason his son cried while he was dying on the cross, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why, have, why hast thou forsaken me? But he said he had to blot it out. He had no more left. And the one to his left on the cross was talking awful to him. And he wouldn't accept him. The other one was different. He sent his own son. He condemned sin. You can't have no, nothing to do with sin. He had to separate from sinners. He had to come out from among them. And today, many of them going out to blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. You have to separate. We all do. Separating time. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. If you're committing any kind of willful sin, you're not walking in the Spirit of God. Oh, friend, I hope you enjoyed the message by the Reverend Ernest Angley. Now be sure and tune in next week for the conclusion. But at this time, I want to take the opportunity to invite you to our powerful Thanksgiving Holy Communion and Miracle Service, which will take place Friday night, November 25th at 7 p.m., 
at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral in Cuyahoga Falls. One of the most special services of the entire year at Grace Cathedral. God moves in such a fantastic way, pouring out miracles and healings on the people. Why? Because people are discerning the Lord's body when they take Holy Communion. Oh yes, people travel from other states and other nations to be there. Now for directions or lodging information, you can call 330-920-1019. Tell family and friends about it. Make plans to be with us because you will be blessed. Partners of this Jesus ministry, I want you to read the letter Reverend Angley sent to you this month. The theme of the letter that he sent, this world is not our home. And for every child of God, indeed it is not. Read the letter, friend. Reverend Angley, he looks to the Lord and he gets God's thoughts to put in the letter that will inspire you, bless you, and encourage you. And remember, this is the Canadian Thanksgiving month. Join with us and help us celebrate the Canadian's Thanksgiving by sending in a special offering. God has been so good to both nations. And next month, when the U.S. celebrates Thanksgiving, the Canadian partners will join with us. And when you stand by with your financial support each month, always request the giant little book of the month. And the October book is When God Lays a Hand on You. This message by Reverend Angley will bless you in such a special way. So when you send in your support for the month of October, be sure to request gift offer P324. Our mailing address is Ernest Angley Ministries, P.O. Box 1790, Akron, Ohio, 44309. In Canada, Ernest Angley Ministries, Box 970, Station U, Toronto, Ontario, M8Z 5P9. And of course, you can also contact us and donate through our website, ernestangley.org. Well, we have a great number for you, the Hallelujahs. And the title of their number is, You Gotta Get Ready. Listen. You gotta get ready. Ready, ready, ready. ready. You gotta get ready. Ready, ready, ready. You better get ready. You gotta get ready for the one flight out. The trumpet will sound. And the bride will shout. The Lord will call. And the dead will rise. In the twinkling of an eye. You better get ready. The line of Judah shakes the place. You shed his blood, you turned away. Oh, Jesus, it's too late. You better get ready. Ready. You gotta get ready. Rapture ready. The Lord is coming and it won't be long. He's coming for those with the Holy Ghost. You better get ready. Ready. You gotta get ready. Rapture ready. The Lord is coming. Are you ready for him? He's coming for those living free from sin. You better get ready. One flight out, living by faith, no room for doubt. You must love God with all your might. Serving the Lord both day and night. Being kind and talking in love. With all our spots and wrinkles out. The Lord will come and take his pride. Like a thief in the night.
Christ did rise. We received our brand new bodies as we took off to the sky. Just a moment later, another call was made. Spotless saints were changed, was a blessed rapture day. Grace blew open, the devil lost again. Power in the blood conquered every sin. Holy ones who used the blood that walked upon this earth got their new bodies when those graves side burst. The day the grace blew open, the dead in Christ did rise. We received our brand new bodies as we took off to the sky. Just a moment later, another call was made. Spotless saints were changed, was a blessed rapture day. If you will just be ready to be caught away to your heavenly mansion, in heaven you will stay. Don't let the devil fool you, or a bitter cry will be. You won't forget those open graves for all eternity. The day the graves blew open. Christ did rise, we received our brand new bodies as we took off to the sky. Just a moment later, another call was made, spotless saints were changed, was the blessed rapture day. The day the graves blew open, the dead in Christ did rise, we received our brand new bodies as we took off to the sky. Just a moment later, another call was made. Spotless saints were changed, was the blessed rapture day. Spotless saints were changed, was the blessed rapture day. Twas the blessed rapture day. Friend, I hope you enjoyed that last great number. And at this time, I have a special guest with me. It's Kathy Millar with testimonies from around the world. Hello, Kathy. Hello, thank you for having me here today. And what do you have for us today? Well, I have a prisoner, a female prisoner, writing from Brazil. And she writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, it is a great pleasure for me to write this letter to you. I would like to greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. I had written to you about my status. In short, let me say I was HIV positive, but now everything has changed. My viral load is undetectable and my CD4 is normal as you cannot imagine. So Praise God moved for her yes. and healed her of HIV. That's a great miracle. It's a wonderful miracle. I believe when I do another test, it will show the Lord has done it for me. I thank you for your prayers. I have another testimony one girl was almost dead, and after using the bless cloth, she was healed. Please send some more bless cloth, cloths, for many people are getting healed through your ministry. May God bless you in a mighty way, a grateful sister. Well, God is blessing prisoners around the world yes. through this Jesus ministry. Yes, it's amazing, and this is from Brazil. And we have a lot of people who write in from Brazil. We do. Yes, and to imagine that girl who was almost dead, uh, being healed through the use of the blessed cloth. And all those prisoners, no doubt, took note. Absolutely. Miracles bring people to the Lord. They do. Well, here's a letter from a man writing from Malawi, Central Africa, and he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, praise and honor be to God because of his love to us. I am here to testify what God has done for my family. God has changed the day of sorrow to be a joyful day because my mother has received her miracle. For six long years, my mother has not been able to put on her shoes and walk for a long distance because of her legs. So that's a long time, six years. She tried different doctors, but she did not get better. One day, I read Your Power of the Holy Ghost magazine and was very touched to read a lot of testimonies and I believe that God can do the same to my mom. I then asked my mom if she believed that God could heal her 
And she answered me that she believed that God was able to do it. So she had the faith to believe. <coughs> so I wrote to you and you sent me a blessed cloth. I was very happy and I praised God all the way home. I told my mom to join me in praising God because today is the day of your miracle. She praised God with me and I pinned the blessed cloth on her clothing and as I am writing this letter to you, she is walking very well with shoes. She has her yes, miracle. Yes, she has her miracle and she's not feeling any pain. Isn't wonderful. that wonderful? Praise be to God for his faithfulness to his promises. May God bless you and your ministry, yours faithfully. It is a blessing to be pain free. So many people in the world today are not. Yes, and that son, what love he had for his mother. He wanted to make sure that she received her miracle and wrote into the ministry to get that blessed cloth. So, and it paid off. Yes, and it was all through the Power of the Holy Ghost magazine by him reading those testimonies that increased his faith to go forth, to reach out. That's right. It's That's fun. why we put it out like that. Yes. Here's a letter from a woman writing from Zambia, Central Africa. And she writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, thank you much for your prayers. I was sick when I previously wrote you a letter to pray for me, and now the Lord has healed me. Indeed, I have reason to praise the Lord. I also thank you for the book, The Power of Bible Fasting. I have read it and now know how to fast. Surely many people do not know how to fast properly. I remember in my former church, they would tell us not to drink anything. Some of us did not know why we fasted or what the answer was after we fasted. So there was a lot of confusion when it came to Bible fasting. When I go through this fast, I promise to teach my friends how to fast too. May God bless you. There's a right way to fast and a wrong way. Mm -hmm. And there has been much confusion down through the years in the Christian world about fasting. And that's why fasting has been un underutilized. But you know, Reverend Angeli has put a book out on Bible fasting fasting the right way to receive results from God. And every scripture on Bible fasting in the Old Testament and the New Testament is in his book. And in fact, we have a course on our online Bible college that deals with Bible fasting. And friend, at this time, we would like to share with you a special video about the Ernest Angley Online Bible College and the many, many courses available to you. Our motto is win the lost at any cost. Our mission is to take the gospel of Christ to the world. And Ernest Angley's Online Bible College is helping us accomplish our goal in one fantastic way. This is our redesigned homepage and all of the courses are clearly laid out. You can work toward receiving certificates in Basic Bible Truths and The Christian Worker. We now offer a total of 15 different courses on a wide range of subjects. To register, just click Enroll and follow the easy steps and you'll be ready to go. All courses are available to everyone and you can work at your own pace. We are also proud to have recently added three popular courses, Bible Prophecy 2, The Wheel in the Middle of the Wheel, and The Power of Bible Fasting. This last course offers great insight into the power of a true Bible fast and the importance of three simple steps that will take you into the greatness of God, prayer, fasting, and living in the Word of God. We provide all textbooks and any additional required material online. And we give you access to the King James Version of the Holy Bible for reference. All tests and quizzes are provided online and we give you immediate feedback. And if you have any questions, we're just an email away. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now and get started right away. There is so much to learn about God and His many benefits. If you approach your work prayerfully and sincerely, I guarantee that you will never be the same. 
So friend, if you would like to learn more about God's Word and the ways of God and how to receive from Him in greater ways, go to ernestangely.org and register today. And now we're back with Kathy Millar with more testimonies. Well, I have a wonderful letter here from a man writing from Uganda, East Africa. And he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the author of our salvation. I am a young man, Ugandan by nationality. I gave my life to the Lord Jesus and through his greatness, he has done great things in my life for his own glory. I would not be alive now because I would have gone into the grave, not of anything else apart from AIDS. But through his mercy and compassion, he healed me. I have therefore surrendered the whole of my life to the Lord, and I am ready to be used by God to win souls for Christ, especially here in Uganda. There are places where the gospel has never reached. Therefore, I request kindly that if there is any possibility to stand with me in anything, that the Lord will push me ahead for the gospel when it is still called today, because time is short. Pray for me that I may be strengthened and do the real will of God in these last days. The Almighty God bless your ministry. Well, the Lord is always looking for two more hands to build the kingdom. And now he has a wonderful testimony. The Lord healed him of HIV. Yes. And he can go forth and testify that what God did for him, God can do for them. He can be a great witness in this hour. Absolutely. Well, here's a man who's writing from Zambia, Central Africa, and he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the coming King. I am very thankful to Ernest Angeli Ministries for your prayers and encouragement. The Lord has answered all that I have requested prayer for. The first request was for my wife that had stomach and chest pains, and myself also had stomach pains. The second, that my wife find employment. I am testifying that we are healed and delivered from all our sicknesses through the method of the blessed cloth, and the Lord has given a job to my wife. That's great. Yes, yeah, so God moved in all in different, different ways. ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you and thank our living God because of the wonderful things he has done through you. May our God bless you and your ministries. Now, the Lord promised to supply all needs, physical, spiritual, and financial. Yes, he wants us to prosper in him. That's right. Well, here's a letter from a woman writing from Zimbabwe, South Africa, and she writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I thank you for your blessed letter. I read it over and over again, and praise be to our God, for he has healed me of the chest pains I was having. I was taking medicine that did not help, so I put a blessed cloth in water and drank it and prayed, asking God to forgive me and to heal me. And thank God I was healed. Through the mercy of God, I am well. Again, thank God. I have given the blessed cloth to other sick people, and they have also been healed. God the Father has answered in his almighty, wonderful way, thanking you in God's wonderful name, your sister. That's a great testimony. Yes, and praise God she re received that miracle for her chest pain. Mm -hmm. Well, here is a letter from a woman who's writing from Zambia, Central Africa, and she writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I am grateful and thankful to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the wonderful work going on within your ministry. I was really encouraged and revived after going through all the material you sent me. I was strengthened by the verses you encouraged me to read and meditate on. They have doubled and strengthened my faith and have caused me to seek God on my knees and pray for my problems. I'm thankful for what God did for me by healing me of a severe bowel condition that caused me much pain and bleeding. I received my miracle as my husband and I were waiting to board a lift to a certain town to attend a funeral. 
As we were waiting for transport at a fellow co-worker's home, we were watching you on the television screen. After you had preached, you invited the sick to come and put their hands on the television set. I had my blessed cloth, so I reached for it and held it where the pain was, and oh, the healing flowed. Praise God, all the pain is gone. I praise my King that by His wounds I am healed, yours in Christ. Another great miracle. Yes, and I'm sure she was not expecting to receive that miracle that day as she was traveling. But right. here God made the way for the program to be on in that person's house, and she just reached out and God moved for her. That's wonderful. It is. Well, I have another letter here from a woman who was blessed through the TV program, and this woman's writing from Kenya, East Africa, and she writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, Greetings in the precious and holy name of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins, heals, and blesses us. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost magazine and for the very, very, very good and encouraging letter that you sent to us. You are guided by the Holy Spirit when you write your letters, and they are really good and comforting. My children had been sick, so we went to our neighbor's home to watch your sermon on TV one Saturday. Your sermon came from the book of Revelation. One of my children was having chest problems, and my other child was itching with rashes over their entire body. So that poor child had to really been suffering. Mm -hmm. As you prayed, God did a miracle for us, and they were all healed. Glory and praise be given to our God, who is the great physician. It's through your sermon and program that we are now children of God, redeemed and saved by the shed blood of Jesus, your friend in Christ. Well, the broadcast has done a great work down through the years. Yes. Bringing many souls to the Lord. Yes, it has. We love the program. Oh, yes. And it blesses so many different people. It is. And they can just reach out and receive a miracle mm -hmm. just by touching the screen when Reverend prays. It's That's amazing. Right. Well, here's a letter from a man writing from Ghana, West Africa. And he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, it is my greatest pleasure to write to you these humble words of mine. I read one of your tracks and how it touched my heart. I have decided to come into the light. Before, I was doing so many things which really showed that I was in the dark, but through your teachings and the help of others, I now believe in God. Thank you, and may the Lord God bless you, yours faithfully. And thank you, Kathy, for being on the program and sharing these testimonies. Friend, I hope you enjoyed them, and now I know you will enjoy this next song. Listen. Rise up with divinity, holy security, caught by the blood of the glorious Lamb. Rise up with divinity, love of the Trinity, there lies the strength to conquer and stand. Well, you can't have divinity without God's faith. Faith that is living and given to grace. Faith that you act on and claim as your own. Faith in the promise you're never alone. Rise up with divinity, holy security, bought by the blood of the glorious Lamb. Rise up with divinity, love of the Trinity. There lies the strength to conquer and stand. Well, you can't have divinity without God's love. Love with compassion and strength from above. Love that is led by the Savior. For the truth he sent forth Rise up with divinity Holy security Taught by the blood 
of the glorious Lamb. Rise up with divinity, love of the Trinity, there lies the strength to conquer and stand. Rise up. Stand. Rise up with the benedict, rise up with security, rise up by the blood, rise up glorious land. Rise up with the benedict, rise up of the trinity, rise up lies a strength to conquer and stand. Rise up, rise up. Life's burdens, heartaches, sufferings, and sicknesses confront us. Many times lonely and forsaken, we lose hope and slip into depression and despair. But friends, you can have a Jesus miracle. And now, we are proud to introduce our new online worship center at earnestangely.org, where a few clicks on your smartphone or tablet can bring you into God's holy presence, preparing you for your miracle. You can view the great miracles of our crusade services and build your faith, confessing the power in the blood of Jesus. So I command you to be able to smile this is by the grace of God. <laughs> and then receive personal prayer from Reverend Angeli for your miracle. We believe in good doctors, good medicines, good hospitals, and good medical people. But when they've done all they can do, there's the healing hands like no other hands. Also, be blessed by tuning in to the online Ernest Angeli World Radio. You're listening to Ernest Angeli World Radio. Now here's more music and singing. Jesus is the one. Hey! And World TV video at ernestangeli.org. Streaming sermons and songs all over the world. And finally, freely register as a ministry partner and receive monthly email newsletters from Reverend Angeli along with free digital books, sermons, and songs, and grow in His wonderful grace. Amen. Take a step of faith and come to our online worship center at earnestangeli.org. Oh, friend, I encourage you to visit our worship center. What a blessing it can be in your walk with the Lord. Tell family and friends about it. Go to ernestangeley.org. And while you're on our website, I invite you to read the latest edition of Reverend Angeley's Power of the Holy Ghost magazine, Position or Possession. An unusual title, but it is a powerful message by Reverend. Also in this edition, you'll find many testimonies from different countries around the world of how God is working through this Jesus ministry to bless souls. Again, read it for free online at earnestangeli.org. Well, it's prayer time on the broadcast. Friend watching this program today, this is your opportunity to be set free of any sin, any wrongdoing in your life. Let the power in the blood of Jesus that was shed at Calvary wash it all away and make you pure, clean, and holy. Say this prayer with me right now and say it with your whole heart. Say, O oh God, 
I confess all of my sin before you. Forgive me, Lord. I'm so sorry for failing you, but I have come home, Father, to serve you the rest of my life. And I believe the power in the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins, all of my sins. Say, come into my heart, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in. And friend, if you meant that prayer, Jesus is yours today, which means you have the healer of your body living within your soul. Now get ready to receive the miracle, the healing that you need. Let the power in the blood of Jesus that washed away your sins heal your sick body. Lift that heavy burden. Break that bondage. Put your hand against mine on the screen as a form of laying on of hands. Let the power of the blood do for you what no other power can do. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I bring the sick and afflicted to you. Lord, many are in great need today. Look into you right now. And in the all-powerful blood name of Jesus, heal, heal, heal. Let your blood power flow to each one. I curse every sickness and disease. Lord, break every bondage. Lift every burden. Make each person well from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. In the holy blood name of Jesus, I pray. And amen. Friend, watch every sign of improvement. And you must give God the honor, the praise, and the glory. And if this program has been a great blessing to you, if you or a loved one have received a miracle or a healing through this Jesus ministry, I invite you to send us your testimony. You can send that testimony by email to testimonies at ernestangely.org. Friend, do be with us in our services this coming weekend at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral. Four powerful services in two locations. We're located in Cuyahoga Falls at 2700 State Road and in Akron at 1055 Canton Road in Springfield Township. We have a great Friday night miracle service at 7 p.m. in the Cuyahoga Falls location, a powerful youth service in our Akron location on Saturday night at 7 p.m., and then two great services on Sunday in the Cuyahoga Falls location. Come and be with us. And always remember, you are special to God. This program is paid for by the Ernest Angeli Outreach Partners.